today we made a decision to go with Elko Electric Outboards. Uh, we've been looking at uh, other branded product for the last uh, 12 to 16 months. And uh, we brought some product down to the lake today and, and ran them on some pontoon boats, ran the motors on our, on our stump knocker skiffs, and we've narrowed it down to Elko. We've seen an increase in uh, customers coming in the door there at the dealership asking us for electric propulsion for their local lake and with that we we thought well we need to probably get more involved in being able to supply these customers with you know with, with product in order to meet their needs so after, after we looked at the three branded products out there we narrowed it down to Elko uh, part, part of our decision process was made quite quite easily for us as we, we tested the Elko product on the back of the pontoon boat. It was very smooth in shifting. It was very quiet through the acceleration band. It was very smooth at top end speed. We didn't, we didn't experience any cavitation. Uh, we didn't experience any prop chatter. We didn't experience any vibration coming from the power plant itself. As we've tested some other product, pushing the same boat, we experienced quite a bit of prop chatter in the lower RPMs and we experienced uh, also some cavitation as we were powering up through the through the acceleration band. We really enjoyed the pontoon boat at full throttle as it was very quiet and very smooth and all we could really hear were the ripples of the water against the against the aluminum skin and we could hear the wind blowing in the bimini top. But as far as the engine goes, very quiet, very quiet. As we examined the difference in, in product between the, the different competitors, we were very pleased with the Elko product as it has a metal casing, very similar in duplicating a, a, a general combustion outboard engine. When we took a look at some of the other competitors with offering so many different plastic parts on the engine, we really didn't feel that there was much value in the product as opposed to the Elko product being a traditional outboard motor appearance. One thing that's the, the, the standard propeller that comes with this engine is a, is a metal propeller, which gives you much more performance, whether you're accelerating through the power band or you're now at the dock and you're trying to maneuver the boat in for forward and reverse. There, there's no flexing that, that tends to happen with, with, the, with the other branded plastic props. We, we really liked the idea that the power plant for the Elko motor is on the top of the, of the, of the midsection and that the, the bottom of the motor consists of the gear case and the metal prop. The competitor, they, their motor is the gear case. It, it, that can create a problem for you now as you're traveling through the waterways and let's assume that you hit an obstacle, let's assume you hit a rock, and, and as you do so, now you end up damaging your entire power of propulsion. So as the water pump is running at the bottom, it sends the water then through the midsection and it cools the power head at the top like a traditional gas engine would do and we compared weight by horsepower and we found that the Elko motor was actually less per pound per horsepower than any of the other branded products available to us today. In our business at Old Salt Marine we, we service a, a variety of customers that, that either have large bodies of water or small private lakes in which they choose to boat and fish. So each customer's got a different circumstance as far as what they're going to need and, and what we liked about the Elko product is we were then able to tailor particular engines to particular boats to match up the best horsepower and the best outboard motor to their particular boat. We found in some cases our customers wanted a, a power tilt mechanism in order then to leave the boat in the water and then tilt the motor completely out of the water for storage purposes. We found some customers wanted uh, battery level gauges which, which are available. We found through the installation process that, that the, the engine was, was very simply, simple to install. Uh, the, the standard steering cable hooked right in directly into the engine. Uh, we found that Elko then did supply us with all the cables, all the connectors, all the pieces, all the parts. So it made for the installation in our service department to go along very seamlessly, very easy, and, and it didn't take much time. 